When NVIDIA announced their new Tegra K1 system on a chip, no one was expecting a monster with 192 CUDA GPU cores. Although the Tegra 4 didn't get much traction besides the NVIDIA Shield, it looks like the Tegra K1 will be appearing in many more devices and applications such as cars and tablets like the Xiaomi Mi Pad. What's really amazing is the fact that the Unreal Engine 4 will be compatible with the processor. What this means is that we can expect to see high-end games on tablets and devices that use the chip with cranked up visuals. Although there are rumors of a Shield 2 being announced fairly soon, we decided that we couldn't wait and picked up a Chinese tablet, the Mi Pad. For our benchmarks, we compared the Tegra K1 in the Mi Pad to the LG G2, the Nvidia Shield, the OnePlus One phone, and the iPad Mini Retina using 3 d Mark and Antutu. In the overall 3 d Mark Ice Storm Unlimited score, the Tegra K1 was 86% faster than the iPad Mini Retina and 68% faster than the original Nvidia Shield. In the graphics test, the Tegra K1 was about 75% faster than the iPad Mini Retina and 90% faster than the Nvidia Shield. When it came to physics, the Tegra K1 was about twice as fast as the iPad Mini Retina and 27% faster than the Shield. Graphics test 1 was where we saw most of the improvements in the chip. In this test, the Tegra K1 was again twice as fast as the iPad Mini Retina and the Nvidia Shield. In the second graphics test, the Tegra K1 was 64% faster than the A7 found in the iPad Mini Retina. Now for the Antutu benchmarks. For the overall score, the Tegra K1 was 40% faster than the iPad Mini Retina, but only 7% faster than the Shield. In our last benchmark using CPU floating points, the Tegra K1 was 3 times faster than the iPad Mini Retina and only 10% faster than the Shield. Overall, the Tegra K1 system on a chip from Nvidia is definitely a major overhaul from their previous mobile endeavors. Although in our last benchmarks the numbers came out very similar, the graphical improvements alone were enough to win us over. Being that this is a very efficient chip and still managed to get nearly twice the performance of the iPad mini Retina, we can't wait to see which devices begin to implement the new chip.